Now, this is just uh, an introduction to the sine law. Uh, so all we're going to do today is, uh, with this video is we're going to introduce the equations for the sine law and how to be able to identify whether or not we can use um, the sine law. So let's look at the uh, actual equation for the sine law. And here it is. So this top equation right here, sine capital A over lowercase a is equal to sine B over B equals sine C over C. Now, just a bunch of letters, right? But what's important to know is we are using triangles that are not at a 90 degree angle. So none of the angles, okay, none of the angles are equal to 90 degrees because if they are equal to 90 degrees then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using what we call so ka toa right so sine is equal to opposite over j uh, hypotenuse cosine adjacent over hypotenuse tan is equal to opposite over adjacent but this is only if right one of the angles in um, our triangle is a 90 degree angle and this is really for uh, right angle triangles but if they're not right angle triangles then we are going to be using either this sine law or as we're going to see in the next video uh, the cosine law so now what do these letters represent but so when we have our triangle label your triangles each vertex of your uh, triangle with capital letters A, B, C, X, Y, Z, um, whatever letters you feel like. Right? It's, you've got a three letter name, use those letters as your, um, your vertex points, right? But remember that the capital letters are the ones that represent the angles of the vertex. And so they are going to really represent pretty much your C, your B, and your A. So they're going to represent the value that is next to sine, right? And that works the same way with if we're using this variation. And we'll talk about the two variations. And really, if you look at these two, it's exactly the same. All that we did was uh, invert uh, or find the reciprocal of this equation here. Okay, so now, anyhow, whenever we're, we have a, tr a triangle that is non-90 and 90 degree angle, keep in mind that are you given at least two of the angles? So if you're given two of these angles, remember that to find the third angle, right, in a triangle, right, all the angles equal to 180 degrees degrees just remember that right because using that if you're given let's say this and you're given this you can find this by adding these two angles up and subtracting it from uh, 180 right now to use now this the way we would use this uh, equation now let me just erase some of this stuff here uh, to use this equation you're really making a comparison between um, these two, right? You may be making a comparison between these two points of the, of, uh, the uh, equation, or we could be using this with that, okay, to, uh, to solve for our triangle. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and do uh, another label right here and whenever we have our capital letters right that represent our vertex immediately opposite from that angle is the lowercase versions of the letters so uh, across from angle a is the length of a across from angle b is our side length of b and again of course the uh, vertex, or sorry, the uh, side opposite uh, angle C 
represents a lower KC and I try to use it in a um, handwriting cursive lower C in order to be able to show the difference between this C and capital C. So what you'd be given right in these equations are the following right if you look at each box right so if you look at this blue box right here there are four sets of numbers that you need to have in this equation you need to have angle A angle B side length A side length B you need really three of those four numbers in order to be able to solve let's say for whatever was the unknown so in fact for this blue square uh, or if you're solving using this red square you need three of the four if you're solving within a and c again same thing three of the four you need to have right because once you have three of the four all you do is find you know isolate the unknown now what we're going to do is we're going to um, go and circle this the same way, right? As we said, right? So this is our blue. This is going to represent the red. And this is going to represent the green. Okay. So what we've got really, as we said, is the reciprocal. And as we said, for whatever's boxed in or the circle here with the green, we need to find have three of the four values to be able to solve for that fourth missing value. Now using that, right, my advice to you is look for the unknown, right? Whatever is your unknown, try to identify between these two which one to use and make sure your unknown is going to be at the top okay so which means if your unknown happens to be length a right length a is here at the bottom so what you might want to you is use is this variation of the equation because your unknown is here up at the top and all you have to do is move this sign a over the equal sign which becomes now multiplied with whatever the numerator happens to be of um, of your value so pretty much when you're using this equation you can use either two either one of these two um, but my advice is really just for this part right now um, use the one where your unknown is going to be really um, at the top uh, but again, if that confuses you, just learn this equation and be able to um, move around the equal sign. Okay, so really, let's say if we were looking at this triangle, let's say we're given this angle and this angle. We can find this angle using the 180 degree mark. But now, for me to, to do, to be able to solve any of this, I need all my angles, let's say, and at least one side looking at this one side here right so what you want is if you've got your sine a you want to make sure you have your side your your side length a if you've got angle B you want to make sure you have your side B and if you're using sine C you want your C value so really what you're looking for um, in any of these is really two angles right because your third can be found using the 180 rule but from these two angles you also need to be given right you need to be given a side so some kind of a side length, either your A value, either your B value, or either your C value.